opportunity to um, table amendments at this stage before we've even heard uh, government policy properly at second reading. And it's about the time. Uh, this, uh, this really is his last warning. Um, th what he's talking about is the bill that's being. It, it, what he's talking about is the bill that's coming up next week. This is not what we're debating here. This is entirely about the amendments that are being uh, that, that are being accepted by the clerks at the table before the bill has been read a second time. Now, this it's a very very narrow motion, and if he keeps to that, he may continue. But he's really testing my patience, Chris Leslie. That it is, it is a very narrowly drafted motion. It does uh, indeed say that, um, in respect of this particular bill, notices of amendments, new clauses and new schedules can be moved uh, in committee uh, to be accepted by clerks at the table before the bill has had a reading at the second time. And that in itself begs a number of particular questions. You may um, have noticed, Madam Deputy Speaker, for example, that a queue uh, has formed already uh, beside your chair of honourable members who may wish to table amendments. I, I, as I am given to understand, if honourable members wish to table amendments at the uh, passing of this motion, we should approach the table and uh, hand those over to the clerks. And of course, there is, I, I suspect, going to be a, a great deal of demand. Uh,